Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you? Let's see today's topic. It is halves, thirds and fourths. So what's our objective? To partition two dimensional shapes into two, three and four equal shapes. So now let's see first what's the meaning of partition. When I say partition or separate shapes into equal parts, I have to make it into equal parts. When I say halves or two halves, that means each part is half of the whole. It is half of the whole and it should be equal. That's the more important now. When I say thirds, that means three equal parts or three thirds and each part is the third of the whole. It is each part. It is third of the whole. When I say fourths, that means four equal parts or four fourths. Each part is a fourth of the whole. If you see here diagram properly here, there are four equal parts and here three equal parts and here two equal parts. That's why we are saying this as a halves and this as a thirds and this one as the fourths. Now, let's see a few examples here. We have to write down whether it is two halves, three thirds or four fourths. The first one is, how many equal parts do you have here? Two. So that means I have to write it down two halves. And what about this? How many equal parts do you have here? One, two, three, four. That means it is four fourths. There are four equal parts. Here how many equal parts? One, two, three. So how many parts are there here? Three thirds. So you must remember halves, fourths, thirds. Halves, two equal parts. Thirds, three equal parts. Fourths, four equal parts. This is how you are going to partition shapes, two dimensional shapes. Now, let us grade the lesson. How well do you know the lesson? Starting from 1 to 4. If you choose number 1, that means you don't know the lesson and you need to watch the video again. But if you choose number 2, that means you need a little bit of practice. And if you choose number 3, that means you know the lesson and you can solve it by yourself. And if you choose number 4, which says that you know the lesson, you can solve it by yourself. And you can explain it to someone else, which is great, awesome. So this is how you partition two dimensional shapes into two, three and four equal shapes. I hope the lesson was very easy for you and you got the lesson. And thank you for watching my video.